The first batch of the OLED mod chip is ridiculous because it will lock itself the second time we connect the chip to a PC. We can see a red light and nothing is detected on the device manager. This video will show you how to flash, update, or unbreak it using a hardware programmer. Let's get started. To follow this video, you need to have these items. We need to do another soldering, and unfortunately, we cannot avoid it. There are two schematics. If you want to use the G-Dealing OB, please use this picture as a reference. But if you are going to use the S-Dealing, please use this as a reference. Before soldering the wires, please remove the USB connector from the chip. And please, don't forget to unplug the battery if you haven't done it. Now let's solder the wires. And in the end, it should look like this. Download the joint bootloader and the firmware file from the link in the description. Please click the download button. If you have the GDLink OB, please download the GDLink programmer from the link in the description. If you own the STLink programmer, download the STM32 Q programmer from the link in the description. We will flash the chip using the G-Dealing OB for the first option. Connect the wires to the correct port. Run the G-Dealing programmer. Connect the G-Dealing OB to the computer. You should see a red light coming out from the mod chip. On the G-Dealing programmer, select the target tab, then choose connect. You will see a successful connection status down here when everything is fine. Again, select target, then choose insecurity. We will unlock the chip and automatically erase it by selecting this option. The chip is now blank. We need to write a new bootloader and firmware into it. Click file, then choose open. Then select the downloaded file. Leave the starting address at its default value, 8 with 6 trailing zeros. Then press OK. At this step, we have loaded the bootloader along with its firmware. Now click Target, then choose Program. Click OK, then disconnect it from the target and close the GD-Link programmer. Disconnect the GD-Link OB, disconnect the wires, and continue to minute 528. We need to retrain the mod chip. For the second option, we will use the ST-Link programmer. Look at the schematic and connect the wires. Now open the STM32 cube programmer. Connect the SD link to your computer. Press the connect button. You will see this error notification. It is normal because the chip is locked. Press OK. Now click the OB button. Select without protection and uncheck the RDB option. Then press apply. Press the download button. 
Select Browse, then choose the bootloader firmware file. Make sure the starting address is the same as the previous method or the same as the top line on the right column. Press Start Programming. Now press Disconnect. Unplug the ST-Link from your computer and disconnect the wires. Now we need to retrain the MOD chip. Ensure to remove the microSD card before turning on the console for the training session. And don't forget to replug the battery. Now turn it on. Leave it like this until the LED turns purple, then green. See, now it is purple. And now it's green. Unplug the battery, insert the micro SD card which contains my head spec, plug the battery, and turn it on. Looking good. So that's how we flash, update, or even unbreak the new OLED chip using a hardware programmer. Thanks for watching this video.